Jadon Sancho is back at Borussia Dortmund and he has one mission, to become the best player in the world. Now our first step to becoming the best player in the world is to have an amazing season with Borussia Dortmund. And in order to keep track of that, we've got a few objectives that we're going to try to accomplish throughout the season. And in order to achieve these objectives, we're going to be working very hard in training, not only to get selected by the manager, but to also show the rest of the team and the fans that we are taking this seriously. Looking into the squad hub, we are definitely one of the best players on the team. And thanks to our boosted morale from leaving United and coming back to our beloved Dortmund, we have grown in a couple of steps. We have no time to waste in our journey to become the best player in the world, however, as we start with a game against Bayern Munich for the German Super Cup. With Dortmund fans being confident in us and are still considered to be in the top 1000 in the players of world football, we have all the right tools to become one of the best players in the world, but consistency and hard work and making sure we don't disappoint the fans is very important in our journey to winning the Ballon d'Or one day. Moving on to the task at hand, Bayern was proving to be a very tough test, with no goals being scored in 70 minutes, but one moment in the game could change the complexion of it forever. A Thomas Muller penalty. Kobel dived the wrong way and Thomas Muller scored, and this would probably be the only goal of the game, and I doubt that we're going to be able to have enough mental fortitude to come back into this game. I mean, we've got a good squad, we're good enough to do it, but to be honest, the club itself and the players themselves just look like they've lost belief since Haaland and Sancho left a few years ago. But we are back in the team. We do have an opportunity to prove the tea to the team that with us here we can do anything. All we have to do is score this free kick. However, we fail. And just like that, Bayern Munich defeat their bitter rivals, Borussia Dortmund, in the Super Cup Final. Something that's become a tradition as of late since our departure and since our arrival, our initial arrival at Borussia Dortmund. But this time around, we will look to change this. However, as it stands, we've lost our first game and our first cup final of the season to our bitter rivals, and that leaves a bitter taste in the mouth of everyone in the Dortmund camp. Entering the locker room, no one was happy, but we all knew, deep down, it was just the first game of the season. We knew that we'd be able to bounce back, and we even said so to the media that, one way or another, we are going to bounce back. And that is exactly what we plan to do in our rematch against Bayern Munich, the first game of the season, and probably the most important game so far when it comes to who is going to be winning the Bundesliga this season. If we're going to put an end to Bayern's dominance, this decade-long dominance, a win here would be very, very important. But would we get it? It's the 52nd minute, and much like the Super Cup final, it's a stalemate between Bayern and Borussia Dortmund. Chances have been created, but nothing significant until now. This is when the game started to become, you could say, more exciting. More chances were being created, more potential goals were being fashioned, but in the end, nothing much changed as the defenders and the goalkeepers were on top form. Both Kobel and Manuel Neuer ensured that their teams would walk away with at least one point in this game, if not the full three. But of course, us as the attacking players, we were no slouches, we tried our best. We are given the free kick duty for almost everything it seems, but we have still have a lot to learn when it comes to our set piece plays, as things have changed since the last time we were here. However, in the 72nd minute, Haller was able to take a shot, but like I said, Manuel Neuer and Kobel were unplayable today. That would be the only significant opportunity of the game, and it would end nil nil. The points shared between two of Germany's biggest rivals. After failing to triumph against Bayern twice in a row, our morale was a bit low, but we knew that we could move on. We had to move on, as tomorrow is another day, and tomorrow we face. Werder Bremen.
going into this game, we had a lot to fight for. And Jaden Sancho specifically, we had a lot to fight for as well. We had a lot to prove. Our fan confidence has dropped. The fans were so confident into us going into the start of this season. And we've done nothing but disappoint them. Instead of making the team better, we're seeming to make the team worse. But like I said, we have a point to prove. We have to prove to the fans that we were right to come back to Dortmund. The manager was right to buy us once more, to give us a second chance at our club that created our career. So we toiled, we fought against Werder Bremen. The first half we bombarded them with pressure, however they would not fold. We did everything, we gave Haller the ball, he took a shot, he hit the post. This was more promising than the Bayern game, and soon enough we would be sent away by Jude Bellingham, a player that I feel we have a lot of chemistry with, and we were one on one against the goalkeeper and we made sure that we didn't miss those and just like that the fans were more confident in us and our player rank was 1025. Just like that the fans knew with this goal there was something more about Dortmund. Things were about to change and with Ala hitting the post again it proved that now this season, this is the moment when our season went well and truly underway. We forget about the Bayern game, it was just a bump in the road because now our real top form really starts, especially with players like Martin Erdegaard joining us as well. A bright future was ahead for Borussia Dortmund. However, in the world of football, you cannot dwell on the past. As we move on to face Borussia Mönchengladbach, a tough team, but nowadays they haven't been to their best as of late. But it still means that they're a dangerous team that can catch you and punish you if you're working off guard. But of course, we are on top four. We are gelling really well, like an unbreakable and unstoppable force Borussia Dortmund plays with such fluidity, with such chemistry. We are able to score against Borussia Mönchengladbach sooner rather than later. But that would be the only goal, but sometimes, and a lot of times, one goal is enough to secure us the three points, and in this moment, it was. Us and Jude Bellingham have a ton of chemistry, make no mistake about it, and if we both play like this, Dortmund, definitely has a lot of trophies in the future. But in other news, in our personal career, we are selected for the England national team, and our debut is going to be against Finland. Our debut in the series, of course. It's going to be the first time in a long time that we meet back with the England boys. We are excited to play with the players like Saka, Harry Kane, see Phil Foden again, see Jordan Henderson, maybe even Jude Bellingham being called up as well. But of course, we're not here to have buddy buddy time, we're not here to hang out, we are here to play football. And with a bit of magic, a bit of trickery on the left wing, we probably score what you would call the goal of the season. And just like that, fan confidence increases as people are now realizing how talented Jaden Sancho truly is. And as you can see, we are back in the top 1000 when it comes to players in the world. Better than how we started, which is a very good sign. But some things never change and England's defense is still as rocky as we left it, as we allow Timo Puki to score and equalize for Finland just before half time. Something that will definitely leave a bitter taste in our mouth anyway. And as if conceding to Timo Puki wasn't enough, we became complacent and we had to leave it upon Bukeo Saka to win us the game. Honestly, we can't blame him for missing just an opportunity. Yes, he is one of the best players in the Premier League. But he is still young, he still has to deal with the fact that he is inexperienced, he doesn't know how to handle composure as well as the next guy. But that is how our England journey would have ended. But we did pick one lesson from that, and that is our complacency would cost us. But heading into Dortmund, for our first Champions League game against Copenhagen, we would make well, well sure that complacency doesn't come back to bite us in this game. Hard work is what we needed to win this game and hard work is what we would give. We were definitely performing to our best in this game, and we, as Dortmund, were again performing really well, like a well-oiled machine. The chemistry was high, team morale was at an all-time high, and we showed it. Jude Bellingham was able to take a shot, but it was blocked. But Sebastian Halle would prove to be the star of the show in this one. Jaden Sancho, minimal, minimal contribution, but Sebastian Haller ensured that we would walk away with a 2-0 victory, scoring his first goal against Copenhagen later on in the second half, and then in the 75th, 75th minute to seal it, he is open, Erdegaard gives him the ball and he hits it crossbar down and just like that, we walk away from Signal Iduna Park with 3 points in our first Champions League group stage game. Who knows, if we stay like this, 
on our type of form, we could even top the group. But for now, we take it one game at a time. And for now, you guys will have to take it one episode at a time. As this is the last time you will see us for this episode, we will have to go. We're going back to the training ground. We're gonna practice some more. So that for the next episode, when we sprint past this season, we make sure that we're gonna do our best. But for now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the subscribe button to not miss episode 2. I'll see you guys next time.